Hello everyone, I just came home from a wonderful walk in the park. It has been a very nice weather here today in Sweden. Um, the sun has been out the entire day, so... Yeah, I just came home and I felt like doing a C programming video. So today we're going to try to get positions to work. Uh, transformations and actually be able to uh, place things out using a coordinate system right so let's just get into it and open up our editor here um, so the first thing that I want to do is that we're going to change our shader okay um, so wrong folder we're going to change our vertex vertex shader a little bit um, and I'm doing some, I've done some studying here uh, before the video. Um, so, what we're going to do is that we're going to copy a shader here actually from the nice learnopengl.com website. And we're basically going to replace uh, this shader with that one, okay? Because we're being a little bit lazy here. Oops missed that one um, right now we're going to go and uh, use we're going to need to work with uh, matrices here uh, we could write our own matrix library or a matrix helper matrix helper functions but uh, Let's save some time here and use uh, this library called CGLM. Um, it's like a math library for C that has uh, matrices and stuff in it. So we're just gonna use that. So to do that, we're just going to edit our make file and basically just add uh, LCGLM, make clean, make, and everything compiles, cool. I already have CGLM compile, uh, installed and compiled on my computer, so uh, I don't have, I didn't have to install it again, I could just add it to my flags here, okay? Uh, right, so uh, what we wanna do now is that we're going to go and do some orthographic stuff, basically. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to oh, we're gonna go into our um, scene.c first I think uh, actually let's go into our scene.h first okay so we're going to need a couple of things in here. First of all, we're going to need to include that library. And let's just do that. Um, now we got access to some um, other data types here. So we have our mat4. Uh, for and we're going to use a uh, the scene will have two things right now it will have a uh, a view uh, a perspective per actually a projection and it will have a uh, view as well and the view is like a camera position maybe we'll support multiple cameras in the future but now the cam the scene just has one camera okay and I'm perfectly fine with that. Okay, now we're gonna go into our scene.c. <clears throat> mm -mm -mm. Now, we're gonna do some strange stuff in here, okay? Um, mm -mm -mm. And I already looked at some other code that I've been written before. Um, uh, when I was doing this, so I think I got that stuff here, right? So we're gonna need to do this stuff. Um, uh, 
in here. Model, it's not in here. There we go. And we're not going to use the model here, we're going to use the view. Um, and it's called S view and the S perspective. Now let's just see if that compiles. Nope. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, all right, we called it projection. Uh, perspective projection. Does it compile? It compiles. Okay, so, <clears throat> right. And this mem CPU, I think, is uh, is coming from this library, actually, string.h, which is sort of weird. I don't know. These are not strings. <laughs> but anyways, um, okay. Now what we want to do is that we were going to do the same thing in the actor, because the actor is going to have a model. So in our actor.h, we're going to have mat for model. Now we're going to need to include the stuff here as well, but we'll do it later. Um, and in here, let's do that. And this is not a projection, it's a model. And this is a, oh. Model, oh, model, cool. Uh, does it, it will not compile because we need to do, go into the scene.h and we need to copy this. Whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. And we need to go into the uh, scene dot, no, actor dot age. And we're gonna paste that in there. Now it should compile. Right, so this is what I was talking about before. We need to include the string dot age. It's really weird. That compiles. Now what we want to do um, is in our scene actually. Mm. We're gonna do some weird stuff here too. Now I did notice something before when I looked at code that we're doing something that is uh, not necessarily that doesn't need to be done. Uh, where did I see it? Yeah, I think this line here is pretty useless. Uh, I'm not sure though. Um, you see, this line here is the equivalent of the one that we're doing in the uh, scene.c. We're doing the bind vertex array as VAO, and we're doing that in the actor as well. Here. So. I think that's pretty bad. I don't know. Uh, let's just comment it out for now. Uh, so let's get back to what we were doing. In this actor.c, no, scene.c, sorry. I'm actually going to copy some code from another project that I've been working on. Uh, it's in the here, I think, and I'm just gonna copy that, all right? So what we're doing with this is basically we're getting some pointers to the uh, for variables in the shader um, so that we can um, modify them. Okay, okay. Um, and we're going to replace rend shader program with shader default because that is the one we're using. Default. We're probably going to write like a function later for getting the current shader that is being used in the current state. Um, and this should probably like not be handled like this. I don't know. Uh, uh, anyway, 
course. Hopefully this will work for now. Now what we want to do is we're going to look in the documentation here a little bit and we're going to copy something from here. Let's copy that. Okay. Um, now what we want to do is that we want to do uh, do uh, uniform uniform mat for model and we want to copy the um, um, s actually this is going to be here we could put this in the actor function but the actor code will be a lot more cleaner if we put it here uh, and we're keeping the dirt in the scene layer so to speak um, anyways uh, let's copy well, let's copy this thing and we want to access the model from that one okay cool now we want to do two of these here so uniform mat for model uh, we're gonna change change that to view and projection okay and these are x as accessible from the scene so we have the projection in the scene and we also have the um, view in the scene okay so s view uh cool looking good um uh, now there's another problem like we haven't really transformed this in any way at all so yeah let's start off with the um um with the um mm -mm. Let's start with the view, okay? So, glm oh, transform. Now, we're gonna transform the view. So this is basically like the camera uh, to a vec3, 0.0f, 0.0f, 0.0f. Compile, it does not compile, we need to do Uh, we need to do extern unsigned int uh, shader default. Okay. And uh, yeah, that looks good. And apparently we need to do some. God. Uh, GLM transform implicit declaration. Isn't that what you do? Uh, trans. Form. Oh, translate, not transform. Translate. Okay, cool. It compiles. Okay, now we need to do the uh, the projection as well. So uh, what we're going to do is that we're going to do deal. We're going to use an orthographic uh, projection because, uh, as you can see here. Uh, we can choose between an orthographic projection and a per and a, a perspective projection. Okay, so the perspective projection is usually what you use for like uh, 3D stuff. Uh, but we're 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 starting with 2D, and our pong game isn't 2D, so the orthographic projection makes more sense. Uh, okay, so GLM command ortho. Now, hmm, I don't have this in my head. Uh, let's just copy this, okay? Oh. Cool, let's do that. And then we're going to, um, hopefully that will work. Then we're going to do um, S Pro projection so we're applying this orthographic projection to our projection matrix matrix I don't know how to pronounce it 
And yeah, that should be it. Now we need to do something in the actor as well. We need to do some translation here. Now, um, I'm thinking if we should do that, like, we could do the translation in a, in a tick method, but that would be weird, wouldn't it? Actually, we could do the actor translation uh, in the scene, which means, hmm. I mean, that wouldn't be really nice though. Um, the problem with putting the actor translation in the scene, like for example, putting it in a loop here, would be that each actor doesn't have full control over where they should be positioned. Then the scene decides where they should be positioned by, let's say, using their X and Y and C positions variables. Um, but let's say we want to uh, create an actor that is like a, uh, I don't know, maybe it, uh, it's translated by some other magical stuff, then uh, it won't be able to do that because the scene does it for it. Uh, I don't know how to explain it, but maybe we should start translating in the scene either way because... I mean, it's just a pawn game and we don't have to make it so complicated. So let's just put it in here, okay? Uh, whoa. Uh, so before we do the uh, uniform matrix for F, we, before we send the data to the shader, let's actually transform it before. Because, um, yeah, that is what you do. So GL, uh, no, GLM, sorry, GLM translate and we're gonna translate the uh, we need to cope with this stupid thing again uh, we're gonna we're gonna translate the model to the whoa let's actually do this actor a is equal to A model, model, A, X, A, Y, and A, C, okay? And yeah, let's just clean this up a little bit. Now we don't need to cast like that. Mm -hmm. And it doesn't compile too many arguments to function. Right, this is not how you do it. Uh, vec3. Make, make, make. Now let's see if we get anything here working. Um, I'm scared to compile it, to run it now. And it doesn't work. <laughs> now, why doesn't it work? That's a really good question. Really good question. Um, right, so... Uh, is it the... Huh. How do I do it here? Maybe it matters which order you have them in. Actually, I might know what the problem is actually. Yeah, <laughs> it actually does render, but you can't see it. It's like a really small dot in the corner. And that is because um, let me tell you why guys it's because in our uh, where is it our vertices like they are really small right now they are like they are 
0.5. So let's just make those a little bit bigger for now. Uh, we will move where vertices are handled later because maybe some objects has like larger vertices, uh, if that makes sense. But for now, let's just do define size. Uh, let's do 128 or something. Uh, let's just put that here. Then we're going to go through these items and we're going to replace them with size. Make clean, make, and we got an error. We're not supposed to have a semicolon there. Make, pong, and we got a fucking square. Sorry, uh, <laughs> got a little bit excited now. Um, all right, so that works. Cool. Now, I wonder if we can like position that square without problems. So let's do a little bit of a experiment here. Let's go into the actor and in our tick method, let's change our X and Y position. So X, A, X plus equals 0 0.005 or something. A, Y minus equals 0 0.005 five make pong and things are moving cool so that's pretty cool <laughs> that's really cool um what if we do oh sorry uh i wanted to increase instead like that now there is a problem here I think it's a problem. It, it seems to be moving faster and faster uh, as time goes by. Yeah, it's definitely increasing in speed. Now this is probably a problem with the actor. Uh, in the scene here, I think the problem is that we're translating all the time translating all the time isn't that a problem isn't that a problem uh, that might be a problem actually we're translating all the time like isn't that a problem anyways i know one thing that we should do and that is to translate the inverse after we have drawn it because Otherwise, we won't be able to draw multiple objects properly. So, um, do this. And then after uh, we have drawn the actor, we want to translate it uh, negative, like this. And that should but yeah, we, I think we have a problem with the speed increasing like that. It shouldn't increase by time. It, it's possible that, I don't know, I don't know if you should translate like every time like that, I don't know. To me that seems weird, but maybe it's not. Now it's actually better. So that probably fixed the problem. Now it's not increasing in speed, it's just moving in the same speed all the time so that actually solved the problem <laughs> all right cool so now we can if we make this uh like that it's more obvious so now you can actually see that it's it has a constant speed um maybe we should also try and see if we can render multiple objects because that is pretty important let's make this one smaller let's make it 32 and see how that looks cool and let's add a couple more objects so in our scene.c let's do uh, we should have yeah we have an init actor here so what if we do we add another at like the position 128 Do we see, can we render multiple? That didn't appear to work um, for some reason. I'm not sure of what. 
that reason might be. Um, God, I have actually no idea. Um, what am I doing here? Do am I doing anything special to that? Um, it might be something to do with the. Um, This one maybe? No. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So now it's working. Cool. We can render multiple stuff. This is a great accomplishment because now we will actually be able to like create game objects and we'll be able to create a ball and we'll be able to create the pads. So <laughs> yeah, we're actually getting ready to actually get into the business logic of the pawn game which is pretty nice. Oh, we accomplished a lot today, guys. Um, yeah, so uh, what we will do in the next video. Um, in the next video, uh, we'll probably work on a little bit on how we create, how we define types of actors. For example, if I want to create it, I want to create a definition of the ball actor, um, sort of like classes in, uh, yeah, sort of like creating a class for a ball and then be able to reuse that because now all actors are are the same. There's not no really not really a way to uh, create different kinds of actors. Uh, okay, so uh, yeah, that's probably what we will be working on in the next video. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.